Hey guys, this is Blendmaster here with another Photoshop to Blender tutorial. And today we'll be creating a cube effect. And we'll take this original image here and transform it into this. And I'll put a link in the description below, but you can use any image that you want. So first thing we're going to do is just delete this lamp. And then select the cube. I'll go to front view orthographic, tab and edit mode. And press S and Z so we scale it along just the Z axis. I'm going to scale it by 0.5 and then press enter. Then I'll tab out of edit mode, go to top view, press control, alt, zero, sorry, camera snaps to view. Then I'll select it and go to the object info tab. And on the Z axis, I'm just going to change the location to 5. Then I'll select the cube again, tab into edit mode, and scale it up until the top and bottom vertices are outside of the camera's border. And then we'll do the same thing by pressing S and X so that the left and right vertices are outside of the border too. And this cube will be our um, what holds our particle system and now we have to create the particles which will be these cubes. So I'll go over to the second layer and add a cube. And we're going to create a beveled edge for this, which will be our black line. So I'll tab into edit mode and press Ctrl B. You can make this line as thick or as thin as you want. I'll just type in 0.05 because I like that skinny uh, bevel. And I'm going to create a new material, set it to black and shadeless, and then assign it. And I'll create another material. And I'll go down here and switch the selection to faces. And if I press Control I, it selects all the other faces. And I'm going to assign it to this material. And this is going to be a shadeless material. And we'll go over to the texture panel. And we're going to add our image. So switch it from clouds to image or movie. And then open up the picture of the eye that we have. That's the wrong one. Okay. And now we'll scroll down to mapping and switch the coordinates from generated to UV. Okay, so that's it for the material setting. Now we'll tab out of edit mode and go back to the first layer and add our particle system. So I'm just going to add it. And we're going to switch it from the emitter type to hair. And then I'm going to check advanced and set it to volume. Scroll down all the way to render, uncheck emitter. And select object and then I'm just going to select the cube that we made earlier and I check rotation I'll bring up the random size in the physics tab up to 0.75 and then I'll decrease the size a little bit maybe or I'll just keep it at no I'm going to keep it at 0.04 I'll increase the number to about 1500. Okay, so that's looking good. Now what we want to do is convert this uh, cube, or convert the particle system, so that each of these cubes is a separate object. And to do that, you'll go over to the Modifiers tab and click Convert. Now we can select our original cube up here and delete it. And we have all of these cubes as a separate object. So I'm just going to select one and go to wireframe and press B to bring up box select and select everything. Then we can press Control J. This will join them all together as one object. And I'm just going to set the origin to geometry. Now what we can do is tab into edit mode, select everything, and press U project from view. And this will uh, create our UV projection so it's the exact same as our image uh, of the eye. And what we want to do right now is because these side and bottom faces have our eye texture too, it will be stretched since we uh, projected the view from the top. So we want all of those faces to be black as well. So we'll select one of the cube's top faces and press Shift G, which will bring up a select similar menu. And you can select similar faces based on any of these types, but we're going to select normal so it selects all the faces that are pointing upwards. And then if we press Control I, it selects everything else, and we'll just assign it to the black material. And then I'll tab out of edit mode and render this again, or render it. And I'm going to change the background color to black. 
And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You have a nice cube effect here in Blender. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And please share your results with what you come up with too. Thanks for watching.